Another day, another box arrives for me here at Streaky HQ. This is going to be epic. I've been waiting for these for a while and it's gonna be the finishing touch to my speakers and you're gonna be able to use a similar thing to make your room sound better. I think, I hope, let's find out. It sounds so much better, so good. I mean, the low mids sound amazing. So you may have seen a video of me when I was at Metropolis. It's got quite a lot of views. It's me talking about not what not to do with near fields. And what it is, it's about speaker separation from your workspace so that you don't get vibrations and all that kind of build up. So that was with these kind of pucks. But now Isoacoustic have sent me over these Gaia ones. And these ones have got screws in them and they attach hardcore to the bottom of your massive speakers in your room. But they do the same thing as the near field ones, but for the biggies. So you can see these are a much more heavy duty. They weigh a lot more than these little bad boys, but then they are holding a much bigger, heavier speaker. And obviously then there's a, big of a bit of a price hike. But expensive speakers, I don't want them sitting straight on the floor. So what I'm gonna be doing for you today is we want to know if they make a difference to the sound. So in my seating position behind the camera, I've set up some mics. So one's pointing at one speaker, one's pointing at the other. I've already recorded them with just the spikes on. So that'll be my A test. And then I've started to screw these in. I've only got one more to go. Look how nice that box is that they come in. Look, what a joy that is, isn't it? So I've already screwed most of them in. I've just got this one more to do, but I wanted to show you that the height before and after is exactly the same because when I've done this test before, loads of people say, well, a guy called Ethan Weiner usually moans at me, who's from Real Traps, and says the height is a difference. But from this test then, you can see the height is the same before and after, so that shouldn't be a problem with this test. I haven't moved the mics at all. All the levels are exactly the same, so that we can hear A, B, does it make any difference to the sound whatsoever? I mean, actually, if you look at them, they look much better, don't they? I mean, but how much cooler does it look? We're having that nice little spring thing. But apart from the looks, let's uh, let's just put the last one on, and then we can do the A B. 